Hi, it's Patrick Hatzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com, where we instantly improve the lives for families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can make informed decisions, have peace of mind, real power, real control, and so that you can influence decision making fast, even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is another episode of Your Questions Answered. And in last week's episode, I answered another question from one of my clients. And the question last week's episode was seizures, stroke and cancer. And my sister is still not waking up in ICU after an induced coma. Should we give up? You can check out last week's episode with Andrea by clicking on the link below this video. In this week's episode of Your Questions Answered, I want to answer the next questions from one of my clients, Andrea, who has her 34-year-old sister in intensive care with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and a stroke. Andrea and her family have been in an extremely challenging situation with their 34-year-old sister and daughter clinging on to her life in intensive care. To make matters worse, they have a very negative intensive care team to deal with. So today's questions and excerpts from the one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy session is, how quickly does a CT or MRI of the brain need to be done after a stroke? You can also check out previous one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy sessions with me and Andrea if you're clicking on the links below this video. And if you are watching this on YouTube, just click on the link below this video. That'll get you to our website where you can read the dialogue between me and Andrea from the one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy session. Also, have a look next week because that's when I will publish the next consulting and advocacy session and case study with Andrea. So, how can you become the best advocate for your critically ill loved one? How can you make informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence quickly whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care? You will get to that all-important feeling of making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence when you download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you will learn quickly how to make informed decisions get peace of mind, real power and real control, and how you can influence decision-making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free instant impact report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you will learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report, you will also discover how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions. Discover the many competing interests in intensive care and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests. How to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle and vulnerability even if your loved one is dying. You will get five 
mind-blowing tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence in your situation. You will get real-world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one's situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You will get crucial behind the scenes insights so that you know and understand what is actually really happening in intensive care and how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care. And it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered episode and I'll see you again next week in another update. Make sure you also check out our blog section for more tips and strategies or simply send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. Also, have a look at our membership site intensivecaresupport.org for families of critically ill patients in intensive care. You can also call me directly, find international phone numbers on the top of the website. Also, have a look at our ebook section and you can also get one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy with me via Skype over the phone or via email by clicking on the consulting tabs on the top of the website. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I'll see you again next week in another update.